HRC, HRC, HRC. Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader church. Welcome to Hebrew Readers Church. I'm your brother Kasafo, and peace be with you all. Today we will touch on the understanding of the new moon of spring and how it helps confirm the accurate year and holy calendar by the evidence of the signs shown in the earth. As we've mentioned in past lessons on the calendar and the new moons, it's a blessing to reckon the calendar accurately. Let's jump into Enoch chapter 82 verse 4 where it reads, Blessed are all the righteous, blessed are all those who walk in the way of righteousness, and sin not as the sinners in reckoning all of their days in which the sun traverses the heaven, entering into and departing from the portals for thirty days with the heads of thousands of the orders of the stars, together with the four which are intercalated, which divide the four portions of the year which lead them and enter with them four days. So the four portions of the year are the four seasons, and these are divided by the four new moons, which are the days intercalated or inserted, for simpler terms, into the year to make the divisions between the four seasonal portions of the year. It's a blessing to track the year accurately with these new moons for dividing the seasons, and they do help us know the accuracy of the year we follow by the evidence of each season of change being shown the day after the new moon, even if only for that day. Today, you should be seeing signs in the earth for the spring season. Let's see how important these new moons are. Jump into Enoch chapter 82 verse 6. For they belong to the reckoning of the year and are truly recorded thereon forever. One in the first portal, that's the new moon of winter. One in the third portal, that's the new moon of spring that just finished this past Sabbath day. And one in the fourth, that's the fall new moon. And one in the sixth, that's the summer new moon. You can reference the video on summer new moon in the um, new moons playlist. Starting back at verse 6. For they belong to the reckoning of the year and are truly recorded thereon forever, one in the first portal, and one in the third portal, and one in the fourth, and one in the sixth, and the year is completed in 364 days. And the account thereof is accurate, and the recorded reckoning thereof exact. For the luminaries and the months and festivals and years and days has Uriel shown and revealed to me, to whom the Lord of the whole creation of the world hath subjected the host of heaven? We know from prior lessons an accurate year is 364 days. Let's focus on identifying the true beginning of the year by the scriptures today. Verse 9 of Enoch chapter 82. And these are the orders of the stars, which set in their places, and in their seasons, and festivals, and months. And these are the names of those who lead them, who watch that they enter at their times, in their orders, in their seasons, in their months, in their periods of dominion, and in their positions. There are four leaders who divide the four parts of the year into first. So, the four leaders of the four seasonal parts of the year are angels who divide the four parts of the year. Hence, on the new moon of spring this past Sabbath, the angel was dividing spring from the winter season. And after the new moon on the next day, which is today, the spring season will ensue and we will see the signs of spring in the earth as the scriptures show. Now, after those angels enter to make the division of the seasons in their respective days, then comes after them the 12 leaders of the 12 months and the 360 days to comprise the 364 days of the year. Continuing reading in Enoch chapter 82, verse 11. 
and after them the twelve leaders of the orders who divide the months. And for the three hundred and sixty-four days, they are heads of thousands who divide the days. And for the intercalary days, there are leaders which sunder the four parts of the year. Now, take notice, those four leaders sunder, which means divide the four seasonal portions of the year. And after the Sabbath day, when they make the division, then we see the signs of each season that day, even if only for that day. Verse 12, And these heads over thousands are intercalated between leader and leader, each behind a station, but their leaders make the division. So each leader of the four new moons enter on their respective days to divide the seasons. Hence, the new moons are divisional days between seasons. So the actual season shows itself on the following day after the new moon, when the season has been separated from the prior season by the angel who made the division. With that, let's see the angel who divided winter from spring this past Sabbath to bring in the spring. Continuing in Enoch, and these are the names of the leaders who divide the four parts of the year which are ordained. Milkiel, now nah, he's the angel of the new moon of spring that we are focusing on today. Continuing reading, Helemelech and Milagel and Narel. Let's see what transpired on the new moon we just celebrated to understand the seasonal change. Jump into Enoch chapter 82, verse 15. In the beginning of the year, Melchizedek rises first and rules, who is named Tamini and son. And all the days of his dominion, whilst he bears rule, are ninety-one days. So, brothers and sisters, the first day in the third portal, he rose up to rule and divided winter from spring. Now let's see what follows the day after, which is this day we're on today. Verse 16. And these are the signs of the days which are to be seen on the earth in the days of his dominion, sweat and heat and calms, and all the trees bear fruit, and leaves are produced on all trees, and the harvest of wheat and the rose flowers and all flowers which come forth in the field, but the trees of the winter season are become withered. So, brothers and sisters, thus we see in Scripture, from the day after the new moon of spring, which is today, these signs will be shown on the earth over the course of the next 90 days for the spring season. Hence, after the new moon, now today, you can see the seasonal change and know we are accurately tracking the year because the seasonal change comes in for each season right after the new moon Sabbath, like the scriptures show. Looking at the seasonal change after each new moon are the easiest ways to know when the year begins and to confirm the accuracy of the current calendar that we follow because the seasonal signs come in accurately right after the new moons every season of the year to confirm the time frame we are in. Also, the best way to identify the beginning of the year is to identify the new moon of spring, which is the last day of the year. When it comes, the signs of spring will come in on the following day, which is the first day of the year. Meaning, when the first day of the new year is here, the climate will change for that season, even if it's just for that day. And for us, yesterday was the new moon of spring, so today, we're seeing that seasonal change into spring to know the accuracy of the calendar and to confirm that today truly is the first day of the year. Now, after confirming the start of spring by the signs in the earth today, you can also refer to the new moon summer lesson to get edification on the signs of summer and confirm the accuracy of the calendar again the day after the new moon of summer when it comes this year. Feel free to download the new HRC 2023-24 Holy Calendar on the website to help track the days accurately as well. Hopefully this is edifying and helpful in accurately reckoning the year 
and confirming the true holy calendar by the signs shown in the earth. For further edification on understanding the calendar, please visit the Understanding the Calendar playlist on the YouTube channel. Now, we here at Hebrew Readers Church are here to strengthen brothers and sisters in the faith. If anyone needs filling of the Spirit and is struggling with desires that are causing you not to be the man or woman you desire to be, please send us an email at HebrewReaders at gmail.com and we'll be glad to pray for you or with you. We all need each other and we have to work together to overcome. Please like and share the videos so that we may reach many more that are called and strengthen them in the spirit of Yahshua, our Lord and Savior. If Allah has placed it in your heart to become a member with us here at HRC, please send us an email at hebrewreaders at gmail.com with the subject member. With that, we love you all and may Allah keep you in your endeavors of righteousness. Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, Hebrew reader, church.